Hello friends, in the previous video you have learnt how to answer syllogism questions with possibility in conclusions. Let's now discuss its type 2. Under the type 2 possibility cases, we are given conclusions in which possibility between the classes is clearly mentioned unlike the possibility combinations we studied in the previous video. Let's have an example of this. In this example, two statements and two conclusions are given. Statement 1 is given as all boys are girls. Statement 2 is given as all girls are books. And conclusion 1 is given as all books being boys is a possibility. And conclusion 2 is given as some books are girls. Here in conclusion 1 you can clearly see that possibility case between the classes of books and boys is clearly mentioned. And we need to find whether the conclusion follows or not. Now to find the correct answer while solving such questions, we will keep a very basic approach in mind. And the approach is, where there is no surety, there will be a possibility. For instance, if I state here that I am solely responsible for a Smart Kida YouTube channel and I will not be working for a Smart Kida YouTube channel for the next few days, what are the possible scenarios? It is a possibility that I will go on a trip, it is a possibility that I will take some rest at home and it is a possibility that you will not be getting any new videos on a smart kidder youtube channel till I am back. Now could you observe which conclusion follows here? The very first one says it is a possibility that I will go on a trip, maybe or may not be and hence conclusion first follows here. Now the second conclusion says it is a possibility that I will take some rest at home. Again maybe or may not be so conclusion 2 follows as well but if you look at the third conclusion which says it's a possibility that you will not be getting any new videos on this smart kidder youtube channel till i'm back you can clearly infer here that it is a definite outcome and not a possibility as if i am responsible for everything related to a smart kidder youtube channel and if i am not there for next few days you will not be getting any new videos on the channel for sure Therefore, conclusion 3 does not follow here. Let's now discuss the first two types A and E type statements and their respective possibility scenarios in detail. So first, let's take an example of an A type statement here. All books are pens. While stating this statement, we are taking every single book into consideration as the quantifier all denotes a universal class. And when we convert it, applying the method of conversion, we get some pens are books, which is also a definite conclusion. But here, in the class of pens, if some pens are books, what about the rest of the elements or what about the rest of the pens? What are they? They may be books or they may not be books. Therefore, we can say that all pens being books is a possibility. So. If we need to find a possibility case between the two classes of an A type statement, what we just need to do? We just need to take the class from the predicate part to the subject part, next to put the quantifier all before it and to take the subject part to the predicate part while adding the possibility phrase to the conclusion and it will become all pens being books is a possibility. Let's take another example of it. The statement is all dreams are nights. Here all is the quantifier, dreams is the class in the subject part and nights is the class in the predicate part. So let's take the class in the predicate part to the subject. Now to put the quantifier all before it. Next to take the class from the subject part to the predicate part and to add the possibility phrase to the conclusion and we get all nights being dreams is a possibility. Wasn't it simple? Now let's move further and take an E type statement. So the example is no train is a bus. Now it's again a universal statement and in this statement both the classes train and bus are being distributed which means all the elements from both the classes are being taken into consideration. Therefore if no train is a bus, no bus is a train either which is also a universal negative statement. Now in both this statement and its conversion, 
all the elements of both the classes are being taken into consideration and they hence do not show any signs of possibility. Now if you are to find a possibility case between the two classes of an E type statement, let's say the given statement is no pens are markers and the conclusion given here is all markers being pens is a possibility, you can straight away mark this conclusion wrong because between the two classes of an E type statement no possibility exists. So friends you have learned here half of the possibility cases of type 2. In the next video we will take next two kinds I and O type statements and we will discuss the possibility cases in them. Till then keep learning and have a great time.